eerie end to the holiday weekend for a 14-year-old boy in Butler County. Detectives say that another teenager set the boy on fire and left him to burn. And now this young victim is suffering with severe burns tonight. The incident happened at a home in Liberty Township. WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes live right now at the Sheriff's Department in Hamilton with the very latest. Todd? Yeah, you know, Mike, the good news in this case is that the 14 year old burn victim is expected to be okay. That's despite suffering second and third degree burns. Meanwhile, the 17 year old who's accused of committing the crime this weekend, well, he's going to spend tonight right here at Butler County's Juvenile Detention Center. For Tyson Tincotti, Sunday morning was anything but a typical end to a long holiday weekend. I went in there and I had to help him. Nobody else was going to help him. That's Tyson describing a 14 year old friend who woke up on Sunday to find his nylon running shorts smoldering. Yeah, he's just standing here like, ah, and the fire's just coming up on his body and his legs. Detectives rushed to this trailer in the countryside mobile home park while the 14 year old victim was rushed to the hospital with second and third degree burns. The victim is, uh, has suffered burns to his legs. To his groin, to his backside. Butler County Sheriff's Detective Jeff Schuster says the victim was burned during a sleepover. The accused is a 17 year old boy who was not invited to the sleepover but ended up inside this trailer anyway. That's where other teens say he acted like a bully. They spoke about the 17 year old suspect being at the house earlier that night, kind of pushing, slapping. It was enough for them to term it in their own words as being kind of a bully. Why an alleged case of bullying led to a teenager being set on fire remains unclear. Tyson Tincotti is just happy that he was able to talk to his friend on the phone to make sure he's on the mend. He's feeling all right. I talked to him. He said he got to stay in the hospital for a few days. He's wrapped up right now. He's doing all right. Well, that 17 year old suspect did have a hearing this morning. He has been charged with arson and assault. He did not enter a plea to either of those counts today. He will have a pretrial hearing one week from today. Reporting live tonight in Butler County, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.